I am the law. Hey yo, Carlo back. All right, that was a quick one, eh? Just put up, what, a couple weeks ago, I put up that one with the Astrid, and now I got this brand new Art Figures. Art Figures 015, Artistic Interpretation. As you can see the little um, artwork on the box here. Who do you think that is? I'm the law. That guy. Now they call it artistic interpretation because, well, Chinese company art figures, not exactly licensed for the official uh, movie or comic book, but uh, very, he looks a lot like, uh, what's his face, the um, Judge Dredd, I believe, or more uh, accurately, the Dredd, Judge Dredd from the movie Dredd, 2012, kick-ass movie starring uh, Mr. Carl Urban. It used to be called... Um, what is it? Uh, heavy Armored Special Cop, but then they renamed it to Artistic Interpretation. <laughs> nice generic title there, but whatever. And in this thing, uh, I guess I'll quickly show you. I got Head Sculpt of Mr. Mads Mikkelsen, a.k.a. Dr. Hannibal Lecter from the TV show. A little washed out, there you go. which I will put his head onto a different figure, or a different body. Likeness is pretty good, eh? But I'm not reviewing this, I'm just going to show you. This 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 head sculpt cost, cost uh, I think it was 25 bucks. And, he, and it came together with uh, my little artistic interpretation, so. Here's the box. Choking hazard, small parts. Are not recommend, are not for children under 15 years old. The back, art-figures.com. Opens up like a book. Nice padding. And there are the contents of the box. So first off, you get his cool ass helmet. Very lightweight. A little bit of foam in inside. Uh, it's a nice, the visor is actual. Well, it's plastic. All of it's plastic. Nice paint job. Some uh, intentional scratches. You can see gold. This cool ass helmet there. Uh, what do we have here? Look, it looks like a suppressor or a barrel for his gun, his lawgiver. Magazine one, ammo mag. There you go, there's his gun. Lawgiver. There's a little digital readout there. These magazines are... Oh, there you go. So you can pull it in and out. This clip, no, that's... That's stationary. No moving mechanisms at all. So it's just one one piece. Let's see, is this... Okay, maybe it doesn't go in there. Maybe it's something else. I'll figure that out later. Here's his holster. His thigh holster. His uh, little medical, his med kit. His mag pouches. So it looks like you just slip it into his belt there. What's this? A grenade. With a uh, Velcro, oh no. There you go, a loop. Uh, knife, pocket knife, but it doesn't see. Oh, there you go. Actually, it does. So, a folding knife. Is this. Oh, yeah, that's an actual clip. You could probably sharpen this thing up and uh, turn it into a, <laughs> a plastic knife. Another pouch. 
Velcro. And what is inside? Just, what is this? Oh, um, it's a little gas mask. If you saw the movie, you'll remember that one scene with Judge Anderson. Just put the little gas mask on. Or a little breathing thingy. I'll put that away after. I can't remember what this thing was in the movie. But, uh, grenade maybe? Another grenade? Damn, lots of accessories here. Here's his belt. Plastic belt, gold. Although, it feels heavy, it feels like it's metal. His ballistic vest. Basically, it's a motorcycle vest, but then, uh, you know, made up to be Kevlar, bulletproof vest. The zipper was... Oh, this little zipper is small. Come on now. There you go. Ooh, it's gonna take me time to put all of this on the guy. There you go. Oh. That was just a plastic holder. Yeah. So, D A E D D, dead. But from quick glance, it looks like dread. Now it's very, it's very washed out. It's not really gold, but that's the way it is in the movie. There's his back plates. In the comic books, his shoulder pads are giant gold thingies. And if you remember the first movie, Judge Dredd with Stallone, they're a big, 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 big uh, shoulder pad. But They've gone with a more uh, practical, utilitarian, washed out motorcycle look. And I believe that's it. Well, here's the figure. So online, people were making fun of his head because of that little nipple, his Lego head. That's most likely for his helmet. There's nothing in there. There is a little indentation, but I don't think it's for his head. So, articulation as you would expect. Ultra articulated with joints everywhere. I'm not going to go into detail. He's got bendy hands. They're not, uh, they're not molded. Luckily, the gloves are already on. If you remember my last video with the um, Navy SEAL Team 6 figure, aka Sean Connery, I had a hard, I shouldn't have taken off his glove, but I did, and I had a hard time putting it back on. So, bendy fingers, so you could just move it any way you want. Uh, it's pleather leather jacket. He's wearing an undershirt. His sculpt and head. Not exactly Carl Urban, but then if you do that, it does look like him. Got a little nick on his neck there. Uh, new pads, his boots, all buckled up. Okay, nothing much to it. All black, his elbow pads, his ass. Oh. All right. So yeah, there he is. I'll start putting him together, time lapse that, and get the finished product afterward. He is one badass figure. Now the he was announced way back in April or May, and that's when I pre-ordered him. I should have pre-ordered two, but I only picked up the one. And it's October now, so. Now it's five months after the initial pre-order and uh, you can just google it or go online and check out why it took so long and like I said this is a Chinese company so it's, un it's very likely this is not a license well that's why they call it artistic interpretation just like the Sean Connery one they don't call him the rock Jason or uh, what's his face uh, Mason 
they call a Navy Teal SEAL Team 6, 7, whatever. And this guy's just called Artistic Interpretation. Heavy Armored Special Call. My least favorite part of uh, doing or getting these figures is trying is gearing them up. Oh man, don't forget you need tweezers. And I figured out what this little it's not a suppressor or silencer. It's just the you change out the barrels from short to long. Oops, and I dropped it, so it's gonna be hard to find that stupid thing. There you go. Here's the finished product. Does he not look badass? So by going, I used pictures from the uh, from the movie, so you can see on the belt, a little grenade. This thing doesn't clip down, there's a little nub in the hole, but uh, it doesn't stay in too well, so it's going to be sticking up like that. So by going into uh, the photo there, you can see there's that little grenade thingy, there's buckle and then uh, the grenade. I just made a guess as to where his knife went, his medikit, and his uh, little pouch. And the mags, are of course, on the right, or on his left there. Alright. Another interesting thing to note. You see his, on his wrist, his little gauntlet. He's got those three um, photos or mug shots or whatever. Those are stills from the movie. So these, these are frames I t grabbed from the movie. And... Basically, they're exactly the same. So I guess you could, that pretty much guarantees that <laughs> it's an unauthorized whatever. But anyway, here's another frame from the movie. This is the scene where he says on the wall. So let's compare his profile shot. That's yeah, pretty good, eh? So when putting him together, I'm going to give you some pointers. Put on his uh, his holster first, okay, because it goes around the the leg there, and then up on top there's a little loop here that connects to the belt, okay. So after you get the holster in, it's a little tough to get these um, the buckles together, so that might take some time. They're very small, and you I had to loosen the upper upper buckle or upper um, strap to actually fit around his thigh. So after you put on the holster with this little loop hanging, you put on his vest. Okay, so when you're putting on his vest, you got to remember, make note that the vest has these little loops here. Okay. So this loop here is connected to the vest, and then on this side there's a loop there, and another loop in there. Okay. So just remember that. And then on the back here, there's another loop right there. So you put on the vest. Oh. And on the shoulder, okay. It, come, it has these uh, t on both sides, right under the shoulder pads, are these uh, elastic bands that go around the arm. So you got to remember, as you're putting on the vest, loop these bands up on his arms as well. Otherwise, you're going to put the vest on, and this thing's the the shoulder pads are going to be flapping all over the place instead of staying connected to the uh, to the arm like that. Okay. So after you put on the vest. You lead, you take the belt and you lead it through the, the vest loops. But also remember, the pouch here, this rear pouch, the gas mask pouch, is a loop as well. So you gotta remember to put the pouch in too as you're putting pulling the uh, belt through. Med kit, don't worry, you just slip in. Knife, you slip in. So loop it through, put the belt and loop it through the, uh, the holster loop there. Grenade is also a loop, so you gotta lead it through the grenade loop as well before connecting the belt to the to the buckle so I had to take it apart a couple times because I didn't realize they had these loops and I forgot about the grenade loop as well so yeah this is one badass figure and because he's got bendy hands you gotta you know, just squeeze it around the handle of the gun and there you go. Highly recommended. It's pretty cheap. 
it's sub two hundred dollars. This was, I believe, one hundred and seventy bucks U.S. So it's highly worth it. Highly detailed. Pre-orders were, of course, were all sold out. But uh, the store that I bought it from, KGHobby.com, which is based in Hong Kong, uh, their second wave, their second shipment uh, should be up for order in November or December. So just remember that. Get a close up of this helmet. It's funny, those little red bangs, it's probably right in the line of his sight, right in front of his eyes, but who cares? It looks cool, right? I'm the law. So there you go. Judge Dredd. Dredd.